we are a fisher people with our lives linked to the sea. We are a minority of about three and a half million Malay Muslim people within the greater Thai Buddhist culture. Over the years, this has caused tensions and the violence is all that people know about us. But I want to tell you our story. A long time ago, we were called the Kingdom of Patani. We farmed and traded along the sea, and we fought with the Kingdom of Siam. We worshipped all kinds of Hindu and Chinese gods and spirits. Then Islam spread from Malaysia, and in 1457, we converted to become a Muslim nation. In 1902, we were overtaken by the Siamese and became part of what is now known as Thailand. Here in Thailand, we are called the Khun Kak, which means the guest, even though we have lived here for generations. We are a very tight community and take a lot of pride in being Malay. We have tried to keep our Yawi language. Over time, this has been mixed with the Southern Thai dialect. Still, we try to keep teaching our children our faith and culture by sending them to the Pondok, a school for Islamic education. After that, Allah willing, they may go on to a famous Muslim university in a more strictly Muslim state like Naratiwat, Yala, Patani, or Songkla. In our village, some grow rice, coconut, palm oil, or rubber, but most of us are fishermen. We take pride in the artwork of our Kole boats and paint them with our legends passing boats on from father to son. Sometimes the sea and weather are our friends, but at other times, bad weather and the big fishing boats take all our catch. That means no food for our family. The mosque and our faith in Islam is the heart of our community life. Fridays, we go to the mosque and pray. We listen to the teachings of the Imam and go to him for advice. Every day I pray to Allah five times a day. But if we catch no fish, some desperate men will go to a witch doctor who tells us the future, deals with spirits, and gives out lucky charms. But one day my daughter met someone very different. I often come to this cafe after work, and if I'm lucky, I will see a friend there. This time, my friend had brought along a stranger. We met up often after that, and I know that they have different beliefs, but I found that whenever I have problems, they really listen to me and care so much about me. And sometimes we would talk about our faith, and they like to share stories from the Bible. I disagree with a lot of their ideas, but deep inside of me I was so impressed with peace that they had, and they told me that the peace came from Jesus. They saw the hand of God almost everywhere in life. You know what? God is the one who 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 is the one. I wasn't ready to follow Jesus completely at that time. I just had so many doubts and questions in my heart. Really, 
ถ้าลองเชื่อฟังและติดตามพระองค์เราก็จะได้ขึ้นสวรรค์แน่นอนพระสัญญาเนี้ยมีในกัมพีอินดินด้วยจริงเหรอคะ So after that, I began secretly to read about the life of Jesus from the Bible. One night, I had a dream. It was a very short and simple dream, but it was so powerful. In the dream, I found myself at a crossroad, and I didn't know which way to go. จงตามเรามาเราเป็นทางนั้นเป็นความจริงและเป็นชีวิตแอสมุสลิมส์ we believe that dreams are from God so I decided to follow Jesus that night at that point I had no idea what would happen next I told my parents, but they didn't understand. t h e f n o t a n a d i n t a m n a i s a e l e a n m a i n g I was ashamed of what others would think. m w a e k u i m a m o n a l u n a n i l a t o n g t o t u n a n m a i n a We were afraid that she would reject our culture. I had to leave my house, but I began to meet with other believers. Some of them have had to leave home or face worse persecution. We pray together, share from the Bible, and encourage one another. There is not many believers here yet. But we can really feel God's presence in our life. No matter how hard the situation is, still we can find a way out by God's grace. We loved her and missed her. In time, we saw that she was still our child. And we were not angry anymore. I pray that one day my parents would also become a follower of Jesus. My people are still waiting for the gospel. Please share it with us, and please also pray for us. <laughs>